everybody my name is Brooklyn welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new I have three kids I homeschool two of them at the moment we're in first grade k4 and then my toddler I'm sure will be joining us before we know it so we're gonna talk about a little homeschool update today because it's been a while since I filmed a video filled you guys in on what's going on what we're doing and there's been a lot of change a lot of change but at the same time, there are a lot of things that are very similar, but we've changed things from the start of the year when we started our homeschool year. So I'm gonna kind of talk about that a little bit and then changes that we are going to be making again as we approach the end of the year and go into the next year. So we actually do year round school from January 1st, well, around the first week of January to about November. We're typically done by Thanksgiving, but usually around the beginning of November, Thanksgiving at the latest. And then we take the entire rest of the holiday season off, but we do take breaks throughout the year and that has not changed. So that is something we're still doing. I have considered going into a more school year schedule. So starting the beginning of the school year around August or September, and then going into May-ish. I think that's when school lets out in May and doing a more traditional like school year approach just because my kids have a lot of neighborhood friends who are not in school right now. And even though we only spend two hours a day on school, it's like his friends are not in school. So <laughs> it makes it a little bit kind of tricky to navigate that. But as of right now, we're still doing our year round school because we really do like having breaks throughout the year as we need them and then having the entire holiday season off. So that is still working pretty well for us, but not sure if that's one of the things that we will change in the future. As far as curriculum goes, there's been a lot of change and there will continue to be a lot of change. And the changes that I have planned are not necessarily like wild concepts, but they are to me because let me just start out by what we started with and what's working right now. Let's start with my K4. K4, I mean, we're gonna continue to use a Becca's K4 program for all the children, I believe. This is a solid curriculum. And I honestly just, I really love this. Like, it's just so comprehensive. My four-year-old is reading now. When we started this at the beginning of the year, I really thought this is like not gonna happen. <laughs> like, because he's, he's our child that we lovingly joke about as our airhead in the sweetest way, not in a serious way, in the sweetest way, because he's just kind of in his own little world. And so we started this and I was like, I really don't know if this is like actually going to be helpful for him or if he's too young, he is four years old. So anyways, I didn't know if it was gonna work. And now we're, you know, we just started getting into reading. He's reading words. And I mean, like the numbers he has excelled at, um, this is just wonderful. We have done a combination of Abeka videos, so the Abeka Academy and parent-led, but I think parent-led is way, way better for our family because I just don't like spending a ton of time on school. I really did like that for a while, but as my own business has grown, as my youngest daughter is becoming more needy. I can't devote that much time to a full school day, like that school at home type of vibe that I've always loved, even though that's my style. I'm trying to adapt better to my children's styles and what they need. And they like it when I'm more hands-on with them that I'm teaching the lesson. So they don't, even though the Abeka teachers are absolutely wonderful and they teach way better than I do. I'll say that out loud and like, don't you want your video teacher because they're so good. They're such a great teacher. They're so much better than mommy. And they're like, no mom, you're the best teacher. Like they love it when I teach. And I think that that is so sweet. So I've been spending more time doing parent led with them, even though I do have the video manuals, you'll see we are still doing some video classes in first grade too, but that's something that's actually changing too. Anyways, we're doing the K4 parent-led curriculum right now, working through it, and it's been absolutely wonderful. And I will once again be using this for my third child too. So this has lasted several years for us and I just love it. So that is not changing. I'm still a big fan of a Becca K4 curriculum. It's just so sound, so solid and it really works. It really works. Let's move on. So I've got several things here 
for first grade. Now, what we started out with in first grade is not everything that I have here. I've actually put away a couple of pieces of curriculum that just weren't working for us. So we did try out not grass for history and a master book science curriculum that I really liked. And I will show those things in another video, those specific pieces of curriculum for things that did not work for us this year, but we will try them again later on. So it just became too much because we are using Abeka as our core curriculum. So when I say core curriculum, what I mean by that is Bible, math, and language arts. So we are doing two video classes for our core curriculum and language arts is parent led, but our video classes are Bible and math. So for Bible, I mean, I love Abeka's Bible. I've been blown away by my son's memorization of his Bible verses, because if you can see, I mean, they're pretty long passages from the Bible and they do a wonderful job at repeating these multiple times in each lesson and going through the Bible stories. And so I have had both my kids sit down and do the first grade Bible lessons together. I love this curriculum. It is kind of long. I usually try to get mine to do Bible and then arithmetic right after. That's been a struggle. And we've gotten to the point lately where my son is nearly violent about the fact that he has to do a video lesson for math and math is not something I ever want to teach however for k4 through first grade and I'm sure onward I can handle the math I went ahead and purchased the parent-led lesson plans of this which will be here at the end of this week so I can do a flip through if you guys want to see that but this is just the video manual it kind of tells you what you're focusing on each day what worksheets to have ready you know, from our student workbooks and stuff like that, the tests and the speed drills and all of that, which is wonderful. They also have a separate video called combination practice where it's like a 10 minute long video and they just work on practicing those combinations. So I just ordered the parent led lesson plans for the arithmetic because video is getting to the point where we, like he is just over it and it's like pulling teeth to try to get him to sit through his video classes for this. And I'm gonna be teaching it myself for the remainder of the school year. So we have quite a bit of lessons left. We really we really extend this curriculum out to fit our needs because it is so much work that typically we'll just get done what we can get done and then pick up on the lessons the next day. It's not necessarily that we do like lesson 75 one day and then lesson 76 the next day and then lesson 77 the next day. Like we may have lesson 75 for two days in a row and then lesson 76 for two days in a row because there are so many aspects to the Abeka curriculum lessons. And the reason why is because of this bad boy right here. This is the first grade language arts lesson plans. This is just language arts, okay? For reference, look at, for reference, this is the K4 entire curriculum set. This is phonics, reading, writing, and numbers all through here. This doesn't include Bible. If you are doing the K4 video option, you would also have Bible included and some other additional subjects, but this is just like your, your basic core minus Bible. And this book is like, I thought this was a big lesson plan book. But when I saw the first grade, when this came in the mail, and I saw the first grade language arts on its own lesson plans, I was like, wow, this is a lot. And it really, really is. So, and these are all the child books that we have included to go along with this. You've got your phonics and your language in one lesson. And then you also have reading, writing, spelling, poetry, handwriting, and seat work. I tried in the beginning to get all of this done every single day, every single subject, all of it done. It was a lot. It was stressful, very, very stressful. So how we've kind of adapted this to work better for us is that we do the phonics lesson every single time and we will do spelling every single time. And sometimes those are the only things that we do. We also, we tend to save reading for before bed and we just like, I put a little sticky note in his book, the pages that we have to read, and we'll try to do his reading in bed. But I try to keep our lessons during the day like really short and concise and efficient for our day. And then I will give him writing worksheets if I'm working with 
my younger son and my older needs like some independent work i'll give him his writing i'll give him spelling words to copy and work on like i said sometimes we'll just pick up where we left off the next day if we don't get to all of it i do try to set a two hour time limit on our school day we'll probably have to extend that to like three hours you know sometime in the future but for a while we were taking at least four hours i'm talking like at least four hours four to five hours maybe even more depending on the day and it was so so much and that's just with bible math and and phonics language arts so it was a lot it was a lot going on and we were doing all the worksheets as well because with every phonics lesson you have two worksheets attached to that it's very worksheet intensive so anyways i love the curriculum i think that it's so solid and my son his reading has improved he's really confident in sounding out words and like it's just wild to know that you know my four-year-old and my six-year-old are both like reading and like doing very very well with it and i got to witness that i love that about homeschooling one of the reasons why we've continued with the abeka writing curriculum even though we don't love it is because we started cursive this year and i didn't want to waste that opportunity for him to learn cursive because he really really wanted to and it was already included with the abeka language arts curriculum the writing is probably one of our least favorite parts about the abeka curriculum because there's so much writing first of all the grading i've stopped grading writing because the expectations put on these like six-year-olds to have perfect handwriting is just absolutely wild so giving my son like a C or a D on every single one of his writing tests was just just felt so wrong to me but I did want him to actually learn cursive writing so we do the cursive writing but we absolutely do not grade and I don't give him every single piece of writing work anymore we did everything for the letters but after we learned all the letters now I give it to him like a couple times a week if he needs the independent work so that has been really, really nice to let go of as well. The two other subjects we were adding on were science and history, of course. And I did have two other curriculums that I was so excited about to implement this year. However, they were way too dry for my kids' ages. It was like very textbook. Um, even though I found it interesting, I really liked the lessons. The master books, science was actually way easier for my children to do but on top of all the abeka work it was still too much i love the curriculum that i was trying out like and i will return to it i will use it again in the future but i had to make a change for that and i didn't want to skip out on science and history altogether so i did purchase these three books here so we have the history curriculum it's a history geography reader my america and my world and then also discovering god's world science reader and the health safety safety and manners one so we are doing a little combination of health science and history with the event readers and what i really like about these is that they're thin they are not giant textbooks they're small so these lessons are so like they're full of pictures so the kids find this really engaging because they can look at pictures while i'm reading and see what's going on they just really like this and it's very catered towards young children whereas my other textbooks i was reading from it was just basically textbook it just wasn't working for the age levels that i'm working with right now and maybe they weren't exactly meant for you know maybe a six-year-old could do them but a four-year-old like it wouldn't really work for it just wasn't working in general i got these like in a little bundle off facebook marketplace and i love that these are so widely available and they're very just catered toward young children as you can see and that makes it really really nice to me like there's just tons of pictures tons of color the majority of the page is picture and the words are like the passages are so short so the lessons are very very short to the point like just kid friendly very kid friendly and i've been enjoying them so far that's kind of what we're doing right now but i am making some changes so one of the changes that i told you i was making already is that 
for our arithmetic, we are moving into parent-led instead of video. Video does not work for, I'm not gonna say video does not work. Video works, but it's not the most effective way to teach my children is what I found out. It is, it takes way more time investment than what the videos are. Like it would take maybe an hour and a half to get through a 40 minute long video lesson just because of how many times he stops and talks to me and you know wants to get up and go to the bathroom or wants to get up and get a snack or wants to you know tell me something it's just like we ended up spending so much time on these video lessons and while he is learning and he's doing fantastic with them and the teacher is wonderful it's just not working for us so we are absolutely moving into parent-led and I'm pretty excited about that. As of right now, we're gonna continue with Abeka for math and for language art for all subjects. I am still on the fence about what to do with our Bible class because I really do like Abeka's Bible. So I think we're going to continue out the year with just the single video Bible lesson and make a decision later on then because I cannot decide if I want to continue with that or use another curriculum and teach Bible myself to all my kids as a group subject um, instead of it being more individual like on a first grade level versus you know my my other child's K4 Bible level you know I'd rather have something that I can do with both of them together and teach the Bible at the same time to both of them. But I am gonna have them both just watch this together and finish out the year with that. Then for our group subjects, so Bible is one of our group subjects that we are gonna be integrating. We're going to go back to not grass and master books. That's my plan. I'm not committed to that, but that is my plan. <laughs> I do plan on implementing some unit studies or creating my own unit studies. But math and language arts, I know I'm gonna have to teach at grade level. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to structure this and how in depth I really want to go with the Abeka language arts and math curriculum. So that is what is going on right now. That's kind of my tentative plan for the future, but we will see how it goes. So if you have any questions about what we're using or what we've tried or if you have any requests on videos you would like me to make if you want to see any curriculum flip throughs or specific curriculum reviews please let me know down in the comments below or give me all your tips and tricks on making a becca work for families because i love this curriculum so much but i am excited about the other options out there so thank you so much for joining me here again i'm so excited to be back i'm happy to be here with you guys this is just a wonderful community and let me know if i can answer any questions for you i'll see you guys in my next video